He is the grandfather of the most famous babies on the planet. You know, you start watching her holding their babies. Uh, she, she holds every single one of them for like half an hour. So you're talking about eight of them. Could you imagine the time she spends over there? It still seems tough to me to give so much time to so many kids. I know, but, but she does. Ed Dowd is Nadia Suleiman's father. She, of course, sits in the center of the unending Octomom media swirl that seems self-perpetuating at this point. Antibacterial hand rinse after scrubbing, still use it for every time, every time I touch the baby, every time they touch the baby. She's now video blogging daily on the website Radar Online. Bye-bye. Hey, I love you. Bye-bye. To make ends meet, she's selling family photographs like these. Don't you think uh, in some way you're not going to have 15 minutes of fame, you're going to have a lifetime of fame? Fine. That's God, God blessing for the children, for me, for everybody. Nothing's wrong with that. Everybody wants to become uh, famous. I never thought I'd be singing with Oprah talking to her. Yet it was that Oprah interview that caused a firestorm for the Suleiman family. So are you saying your daughter is mentally not complete? Not, I do not know. I need, I need her to be evaluated. Can you help with that? In our interview, Dowd backed off that answer. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with this lady. She is going to become a psychologist or psychiatrist herself. But a father's defense of his daughter may not be enough. It's been reported that Nadia called Dr. Phil, yes, that Dr. Phil, and told him that she feared that officials at the hospital, Kaiser Permanente, may not let the octuplets come home. Are you fearful that Kaiser Permanente is going to say there are eight children here, mm -hmm. maybe we don't let them all go home? So where are they going to stay at Kaiser? They could be put up for adoption. No way. No way. How can you say no way? Because I will, uh, I will, I will stop anybody. I will stop anybody. Anybody. I don't care who they are from taking my grandchildren away. Help me. My son is missing. Okay. I'm going crazy. What happened? I'm going crazy. Okay, you're going to have to calm down. But this recently released 911 call threw into question Nadia's ability to raise so many children. This is her in October, frantic after one of her sons went missing. Please God help me. Please God help me. Oh God. I'm going to kill myself. Oh God. I'm going to kill myself. Nadia uh, Suleiman was, said this to Radar Online. I was pregnant, hormonal, and my son was missing in my mind. So I was like, I actually got sick. I was so upset. I was so worried. When you have that many kids, mm -hmm. 14 eventually, yes. how in the world do you keep track of all of them? You know, uh, I always wonder about a teacher in a classroom. When you have 40 kids in a classroom and you will remember every single child's name, how do they do that? And many are asking, how will she do it, as the backlash against her grows. And the pendulum swung the other direction and said, wait a second, we as taxpayers uh, might have to pay Kaiser mm, Permanente mm, a huge amount of money, mm, and we might have to pay Nadia all this child support. And they get angry at both her and you and your family. You want to get angry. You go, why don't we get angry at General Motors, at uh, the Wall Street, at the billions of dollars that we are wasting as taxpayers? These executives uh, in Wall Street and whatever, giving bonuses, billions of dollars are wasted. Why don't we get angry at these people? Why are we angry at a mother who God gave her these children? We don't need the taxpayers. We don't need anybody. We will survive. So far, Nadia and her family are surviving quite well. They're about to move into this new, bigger home. And the money offers keep coming. It's been reported that Vivid Entertainment offered a million dollars for her to star in a pornographic movie. Well, I know my daughter. She would, it doesn't make any difference, a million, 10, 20 million, she's not gonna do that. Okay. There's no way in the world. The family says the octuplet's six older brothers and sisters are excited about moving into a big new home. Will some of them get their own room? Uh, maybe they have to share. <laughs> sharing their rooms and sharing their mother with the world. I'm Mike Von Frem for Nightline in Los Angeles.